Hi, thanks for watching BibleMountain.com. In this video, we're going to read from Exodus 34, verses 27 through 35, and be reminded that heaven is going to be different than what we expect it to be. Now, we'll start reading in Exodus 34. Just a reminder, the context of this is the Israelites are at Mount Sinai. Moses is up on top of Mount Sinai receiving the law. And this is some dialogue and some action that took place between God, Moses, and when Moses came down from the mountain. Verse 27, Then Yahweh said to Moses, Write down these words, for in accordance with these words I have made a covenant with you and with Israel. So Moses was there with Yahweh forty days and forty nights. He did not eat bread or drink water, and he wrote on the tablets the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. Now notice it tells us here that Moses wrote down the words that God gave him. Now that's significant. One of the criticisms of Christianity is that skeptics of Christianity claim that the Bible is some traditions that were passed down orally from generation to generation over centuries, and over that time the words were changed and corrupted, and so what we have in the Bible is not actually the words of God. But what we see in these verses is that Moses wrote these words down as soon as he received them. And so that's a reminder for us that the words that we have in the Bible are accurate. Moses wrote down the words immediately. He accurately recorded the message that God gave to Moses. Verse 29. It came about when Moses was coming down from Mount Sinai, and the two tablets of the testimony were in Moses' hand as he was coming down from the mountain, and Moses did not know that the skin of his face shone because of his speaking with Yahweh. So when Aaron and all the sons of Israel saw Moses, behold, the skin of his face shone, and they were afraid to come near him. So we see here that when Moses came down from the mountain, his face shone. Now remember, in earlier chapters of Exodus, we were told that Moses wanted to see the face of God. And Moses asked God to see God's face, but God told Moses that no man can see God's face and live. And so what we gather from that is there's something about God's majesty and glory that is too strong for humans to be able to see and yet live. What we see here in these verses, the fact that when Moses came down from the mountain and his face shone, what that tells us is that when Moses was on top of the mountain and was that close to God's glory and majesty, that God's glory began to be reflected in the face of Moses. And so his face shone. And we see when he came down from the mountain, Aaron and the rest of the Israelites saw Moses' face glowing. They saw God's glory reflected in Moses' face. Now Aaron and the rest of the Israelites were afraid. They were afraid because they didn't understand what this was. All they know is Moses went up on the mountain and now he came down and his face is glowing. They didn't really understand what was causing that. Verse 31, Then Moses called to them, and Aaron and all the rulers in the congregation returned to Moses, and Moses spoke to them. Now this is interesting. It tells us Aaron and the congregation returned to Moses. It kind of indicates that when Aaron and the rest of the Israelites saw Moses and they saw his face shining, apparently they turned and ran away. That's how afraid they were. But we see here that Moses called them and they came back to him. Verse 32. Afterward, all the sons of Israel came near and Moses commanded them to do everything that Yahweh had spoken to him on Mount Sinai. When Moses had finished speaking with them, he put a veil over his face but whenever Moses went in before Yahweh to speak with him, he would take off the veil until he came out. And whenever Moses came out and spoke to the sons of Israel what he had been commanded, the sons of Israel would see the face of Moses, that the skin of Moses' face shone, so Moses would replace the veil over his face until he went in to speak with Yahweh. So again, we just see throughout this that whenever Moses was in close proximity to Yahweh, his face would start to shine and God's glory would be reflected in Moses' face. Now this is significant because one of the misunderstandings we have in American Christianity is we think that when we die and go to heaven, we're going to see Jesus and we're going to walk up to him and we're going to give him a big hug and maybe crawl up on his lap and snuggle with him and we think that we're going to be on equal basis with him and he's going to be our best friend or best buddy or something like that. But these verses indicate that heaven's a little bit different. These verses give us an idea of God's glory and majesty, that God is really huge and big and powerful and mighty, and His glory is way beyond something that we can imagine. And so I think it's much more accurate to think that when we get to heaven, and when we see Jesus in all His glory and splendor, we're going to feel very small. And we're not going to go to heaven and be best buds with Jesus, because there's a gap between God's existence and our existence. God is exalted and glorious and majestic, and we are not. 
Now, when you go to Revelation and read about the Apostle John going to heaven, when he got to heaven and he saw Jesus' glory, he fell down on his face and he was afraid. And I believe that's what we're going to do when we get to heaven. When we see Jesus in all his glory and splendor, we're going to be overwhelmed because it'll be far beyond anything that we can begin to imagine. If you haven't joined my email list yet, please do so. First of all, it is free. By signing up, you get immediate access to all my free content. It'll be delivered right to your email inbox. This is the best way to make sure you don't miss out on any of my free content. In order to sign up, go to BibleMountain.com, click on follow. There will be a place there to enter your email address. Once again, thank you for watching BibleMountain.com.